previously on Coffee Shin TV. Boom. I'm gonna go to fix the machine. When he turns on the machine, it never kind of like turns on. So I decided to replace the machine. I'm just going back to my office. A few days later. All right, this is actually a different day. Anyway, here is the machine. And I just take the machine onto the table. And then start to repair. Yeah. There you go. Here is the templates for this machine. And this machine has another issue. The color is kind of different. It's kind of discolored. So this one is not black anymore. This one is kind of like golden, holy beach color. So we're gonna send new carpet cover for him. Anyway, so I just put this one on the table. There you go. Let's keep it in this way. Okay, I just talked about the issue that this machine has. The real problem with this one is this one doesn't suck water up, even a drop. Firstly, I'm gonna open this machine up and show you how it works. So let's do this. For making it easier, I call it pinky and I call it blacky. All right, here is my tool. As always, T10 Torx group, and there are eight screws on the side of the main cover. So I'm just gonna take all of them out. Let me show you one, two, three, four. Other side, five, six, seven, and eight. And there we go. I just put the cover on the side on the stick. There you go. So I have to show you the other side. There we go. So basically, in here there is no water. It is empty. So you can kind of like press it. It's a bit soft. The other machine. I've been using this machine, and I just made a coffee with this machine. There you go. And on here, this tube is full of water. If I press it, it's really hard. So I can barely press this one. And if the machine works fine, it should work like this. So I connect the power cable and then turn the machine on. Focus on the tube. So there's a testing cycle. You can see the pump vibrates a bit and then suck some water into the machine. And the machine sends the water and build up. Then it finishes the testing cycle and send the water through the drain. On the other hand, this machine, I connect the power cable in there too. Over here. It can be a bit loud, so keep the volume at the minimum. And put this one in here. So as you can see, I already put the water tank in there. And let's do this. So there you go. Even if there is water in the water tank, So I think the issue is caused by the flow meter because pumps work really fine. It goes like a rhino. It just runs like but it still couldn't suck up water. It sucked up just air. So the thing is the flow meter somehow is stuck inside. So profile inside isn't turning or something. So this can be the issue. And then I just take out the both flow meters and then I just put the working flow mirror on here, on here, and see if it works. All right, let's do this. So for taking out the flow meter, you have, I have to take this cable out and on here as well. And then I have to cut this cable tie on here and here. And they are out now. Since it still has water in the tube, and on the pinky, there is a it sounds so good. Anyway, in the tubes on the pinky, they are still full of water. So I just get rid of the water. How to do is just reconnect the power cable and then turn this on. And on the tablet setting, and go to ah, water tank. Put this right in here. 
There we go, so there is water. So goes to the setting machine and there is transport. This function get the water inside the machine out. Easy. So tap the transport and then press OK and drag the water tank out because the water comes up from the group head see the fuel is going empty then the air and then push the water inside the machine out from the group head and that's it and i just turn the machine off and then take the power cable out and all right and let's do this Taking flow meters out is really easy. So under the flow meter, there is two tiny knobs. So push them and then take it out. But the thing is, this is the steam one and that's blocking the way. So the clip out and then the tube out and same job on here. Clip out, tube out. And I just take this part off. Take this part. This one. Here. There we go. Just one. Okay, there you go. And here I go. So I can take the flow meter out. There you go. And then take the tubes out. And that's it. This is the flow meter. That's the flow meter. And those are the flow meters, and they are look different. Right. This one is flow meter version 2, this one is flow meter version 1. Since this one is version 1 old machine, so it has version 1 flow meter. So version 2 flow meter is on. I think this situation was in my dream. It's meant to be. Eh. Anyway, so this one is a bit more precise than this one, but I've been using like both machines and there are not that much of gap. So anyway, I'll put this working flow meter on here. And as you can see, this one goes in, this one goes out. So I put goes in down there and then I put this go out one on here. Put this one back in here. Put this thing back. And this one is just testing, so I just put them it can only work condition. So and the water tank is on here. I just put the water tank in this machine. And let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, maybe the next one is gonna gonna be the pumps. So hopefully it's gonna work fine. There you go. Wish me luck. No god please no! 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 It doesn't work, which means it's the pumps. If the pumps cause this problem, I have to put these pumps on here. Maybe the pumps got aged, so you cannot suck up the water. Eh. Taking out is actually easy. But take it back in is the mission. <laughs> All right, I've just changed the pump and let's see if it fixed it. To this guy. Power cable and in and turn the machine up. Oh yes! Oh yes! That's it. Yeah, pump got aged and pumps are sort of worn off, so maybe didn't have enough power or sucked the water up. Alright, that's it. I just fixed it, but this pump is for this machine, so I'm just gonna order new pumps from the HQ. I don't need to replace the flow meter, so I just put the flow meter back in here and put this flow meter back in my pinky and blanky it just survived and i was seeing like next week so it'll take five days to six days to get the pump to hurry up so maybe i can finish this video in next week all right it was fun hey. thank you for watching as always peace out